All right, we are back after a long break, jumping straight back into this rear box section here. Now, I did a bit of work on it uh, last week, which I didn't film because it's probably not really interesting to you guys, but I've run into a bit of a snag which I can't get my head around. So, these rear box sections are made up of about four bits. You've got this inner, uh, I guess, inner uh, boot section here, or trunk, if you're in the UK, uh, US, comes up here, and then that has a lip and kicks over here. The second part is this outer section here. So this panel comes across here, spot welds along there, comes down here, drops down, and then has this little lip out here. That sort of finishes off that box section. Then you have this sort of under panel here, and this comes up and gets spot welded up under this here. So all along there. And then over the top of all them, you've got this panel right here. So this, what this is, is your sort of, this has your rubber seal that goes around the boot. So that sits there. And the problem that I had previously was all this rust. So water obviously somehow gets in and then sits just behind these two panels. And so that's, that's what I pulled off there, which, is, is pretty gross. So I had to take that off. Although now in hindsight, it's proving more difficult than I originally thought it was gonna be. So the issue I have is I put all this back together the way I think it's all supposed to go. As you can see, I welded it all in. There's some pretty solid uh, spot welds there. Now my issue is when I try to put this back on, I'm not, I'm actually gonna rebuild this. I'm just using this as a guide. See that big gap in there? This has to weld along here to this panel. So the only way that that's gonna fit that is if I really push it back and then get those spot welds in. However, I think if I push that back as far as I have to to weld it onto here, the boot's not gonna shut because the boot obviously comes down in, we're in here, I think. So then that's not gonna fit in there. Also, you can see here this bottom section that's supposed to come in and weld to this leap here. That is never gonna push up into there. You can see here where it's sort of, uh, it's rippled, sort of kinked up and split where I've tried to push it in. And so clearly something is not lining up in this whole section here. So I've decided while I uh, go away and have a think about how I'm gonna get all this to come back out and line up right, I'm gonna build this bit here because I know that this curve that you can see there, that curve, is right, that's what it's supposed to be, because this is this is straight off the old one. So my task today, I think, is to see if I can build one of these and worry about this whole debacle later. Each side done. Uh, there's the old versus the new. So now all I've got to do is uh, weld these two together and then 
jump on the shrinker stretcher and put the, uh, the bend in it. And hopefully I can go back to tackling why that boot isn't aligning. Alrighty, all done. So you can see here, this is the old one. Pretty average, pretty average, pretty average. And then we got the new one. Perfect. This was where I uh, did the world in the middle, doing it in two parts. Uh, so I got the nice, the nice curve on there as well. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a, there's definitely the same curve in there as there was in there. So. In theory, it should all fit. So now, let's go back to the back of the car and uh, see if we can finally, once and for all, put all this together. Alrighty, there we have it, almost done. So you would have seen me there uh, lining up the center of this panel here, you got this line right in the center with the panel that we've made. I found the center of this, center of that, lined them up. Then uh, I banged in all those spot welds across the middle and along the bottom, which is the bottom side of this lip comes down, flicks under, bang them across there. Now. The issue that I spoke about earlier that I couldn't get my head around why things weren't aligning, this top box section, it aligned here and it aligned here. It didn't seem to align in the middle. And by that, I mean, I made this, this outer section here, this bit that we fabricated up, put the curve in it. And that curve was almost identical to the curve of this part that I took off, which was all rusted. But when I put it up to here, there was this increasing, it was all fine along here, but then there was this increasing gap that sort of came to its widest point through here and then tapered off here. So that to me made me think this, sec this middle section here is in the wrong spot and it, shouldn't be, it should be out this way more. But then I was thinking if this is lining up here and here, I don't get why that's not lining up. And then I, I sort of recalled when I originally took this top box section off and drilled out these spot welds, that this back box section here did actually pop back a bit, which means it was constantly in, uh, what's that, tension, because it's pushing out, not compression. It was in a bit of tension. Uh, and so when I, once I got my head around that, I devised this little jig here with a, a bottle jack here bits of wood going through to this center section here. So uh, I dialed that up, which pushed this middle bit out slightly until it aligned with this new panel, which you can see sort of through there, all aligning beautifully now. But that took me a while to figure out. And also the lesson I learned here is when I first put this box section on, I spot welded all, all these along here. And before I wanted to push this out, I wanted to make sure that this top section was in the right spot. So I had to grind all those spot welds back, push it out, weld them all up again. So that was, that was very time consuming. 
Anyway, it's all in the past now. All this is welded up. All I've got to do now is, these are the end sections here. So that's that, and that actually sits in here, welds along here, there, along that bottom bit, and then welds up here onto this light surround. So it's one of those both sides. Once that's welded up, I'm going to bang the whole thing with some of the uh, rust preventing super duper thick primer under there because I never want that to rust again. I'm never doing that per, that job again because that this whole this is a whole ordeal. Once that's done, only thing to go on is weld on this uh, this cover. It goes across the whole thing, and then this whole back section should be done. all done and dusted finally this this has taken a lot longer than you probably realize so everything's been primed welded ground back the one thing left to do is to take this bottle jack out which is still pushing against uh, this box section take all that out and hopefully it all stays where it should I can't see why it wouldn't but who knows So you can see there, taking all that out, nothing has moved. Lovely. Always good when a plan comes together, finally. So some of you might be wondering why uh, it has been such a long time since my last upload. Rest assured, it wasn't because I'd lost interest in the build or lost motivation or whatever. I've actually been out doing this back box section every weekend for about six or seven weeks. That is how long it's taken. Although when you watch this video, it seems to be a, a breeze and it's all condensed down into 14, 15 minutes. It has actually been the whole process, maybe seven, seven weekends. Cause obviously this isn't my full-time job. So I've got my full-time job and then I do this obviously on the weekend. Now, the problem with that is you go down one path to try to get something to work and then you realize you've wasted maybe two weekends and it's probably not gonna work or it's gonna be a bad option. So then you have to redo it and then that's another weekend gone or another two weekends gone. That's why it's a slow process. So. This was the original top box section. Now, when I cut this out of the car, um, I probably should have been a bit more delicate with it and I just chopped this out, chopped this out. Um, I think I chopped this end off. So originally I was trying to rebuild this box section and reuse this one, but as you can see, it was, it was becoming a bit of a nightmare. Everything was get, trying to get patched together and it wasn't a good option. So I thought I'm going to try to make my own one, a new one out of this section here. That was my fail attempt because I couldn't get that one millimeter steel to bend properly. It was, it was never going to work and my bender wasn't big enough. So then I had to scrap that idea and then use the top box section off 
one of the other Dhoni cars I had, which is the one that's in the car now. So then I had to cut the rust out of that one, fix that one up, get that treated, and then get that welded into the car. When I tried to make this section originally, I tried doing it all as one piece, and that's how it turned out. It, um, it didn't really turn out all that great. Like, you see this bend here, it looks pretty good, but it was gonna be a real pain to try to bend the, the smaller sections. So then I decided to cut it in half and then do each side and weld it down the middle. So that's the explanation there. It, uh, it wasn't through lack of interest or anything else. It was just, it, it was, this section took a long time to do each individual part and get it to the, get it to the point which I was happy with putting it back on the car. So I think that is, uh, that's me done this episode and this weekend. Uh, next I think we'll be tackling this section here, that section and all this section here, which I think is going to be easier than all of this was. But there we are. So I'm now going to edit this video and upload it and Hopefully, there won't be as long a delay before uh, the next instalment. But uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the, all the comments. If you have any questions on how parts are put together or, you know, the, the structure, um, I think slowly I'm getting a fairly good idea on how these things are put together in terms of the structure because I've cut up a couple and pulled apart a couple. So I'll leave it there, and uh, thanks for watching.